morning. And how about that for a view to start your day? Absolutely amazing. Uh, we are back in La Palma. Uh, our third visit, because we just can't get enough of the place because it's amazing. There's uh, so much more walking to do here, so much to see. Yeah. And look at the views you get. It's I just mind-blowing, isn't it? Such a special place. Um, we've been dropped off up here. It's still amazing that you can get uh, get dropped off at just shy of 8,000 feet. We are now just over 8,000 feet. Um, that over there is the viewpoint at Roque de los Machachos, where we were last year. We've just had a bimble over there. Uh, that down there is Pico Becanado, which we did last year and didn't get any views, did we? Because it was whited no. out. And today, we're just doing a gentle one to start off with. That there is Rocky Palmero. And that's where we're headed. So, not a massive one. I think it's about four miles out, four miles back. Just going to enjoy um, the views yeah, and take just, it in. It's amazing to get it clear up here. It's quite rare to have it this clear up here. There is a bit of cloud forming behind Pico Becanado, as you can probably see. That might roll in through the afternoon. If it does, it does but it is just mind-blowing absolutely mind-blowing so yeah we're going to shut up um crack on onto the trail and head towards rocky palmero and i'm sure we'll get you uh, get you some nice views and sights along the way yep let's go let's get rocking and rolling so the paths are good as you find in a lot of places on the island the big path, this is part of the GR131, which is a major path which basically runs the whole length of the spine of the island, which is kind of question mark shaped. Now we've started today at the top of the question mark at Roque de los Muchachos. We've only ever before headed east from there. We've done down to um, Roque del Faro, which was an absolute killer, wasn't it? <laughs> It was about four and a half thousand feet of very steep descent. I lost my big toenail. Yeah, she lost the toenail. It was uh, loose paths. We were falling. Great day, though. <laughs> uh, so today is the first time. That's a beautiful view out there. Uh, we've actually headed west from Roque de los Muchachos. And as I say, we're heading out to Roque Palmero. And noticeably already, this is a much quieter section of the GR131. Which is really nice. It to ourselves. Yeah, not a All person right. so far, have we? I think there's a view over that little call there. I'm going to pop up and have a look. Well, I was right. Not a bad view at all. Absolutely stunning. So the path is meandering up and down, gaining height, losing height, uh, clearly marked and everywhere you turn. Let me just step through these bushes. You're getting views like that. <laughs> right down into the base of the caldera. There is some cloud forming down in the south, just beyond uh, Pico Bacanado. But my word, that is something else, that. Not bad, eh? Absolutely stunning. You can just see kind of right down into the floor of the caldera there. Up to the top of Bejanado. Pretty special. Look there. Yeah, we're going to head up. I think we kind of skirt around the side of this here so we're going to scoot on and have a little look at that into this gorgeous little viewpoint that is quite a drop down there so we've come round from Muchachos uh, Pico Becanado is over there and uh, there's clouds you can see just starting to drift through the bottom of the caldera they're probably about I don't know nearly a, a kilometre below us, which is a bit crazy. And then behind us, you can see out to the coast, just the uh, ocean off to the horizon. Yeah, we could see Tenerife before, yeah. couldn't we? But it's a bit hazy now. But what a place, man. 
And still nobody around. I think I'm going to put my shorts on soon because it's heating up. It is. A nice little stop off wasn't it? A nice little viewpoint down into the caldera. Had a little play with the drone and that. And you can see just in front of Shell there our path snaking off along the ridge. And we're just going to keep following in this and uh, seeing what it shows us. Yet another stunning viewpoint along the way. Ooh. Clouds cleared a little bit out the bottom of the caldera. And I think that over in the distance is where we're headed. Objective. Yeah, but all these views down to our left, you've got the ocean out to our right and the caldera down to our left. It's just amazing and not seen a single person either. Yeah. It's hard to put into words, isn't it? It really it's is. Just... The sense of space is just enormous. The, the drama of the, uh, the landscapes is just mind-blowing. It is. Absolutely stunning. So yeah, I think we're pressing on along this path here. And that is going to be, as I say, it's not a particularly long one today, but that's going to be our, uh, our stop-off point. Let's crack on, eh? We're getting closer and just spotted if I can zoom right in right over on the horizon in the distance uh, there. come on focus it's Tenerife just see Mount Tidi so we are about to start our last little ascent up to the top there but we've just been looking down into the caldera and just can't stop staring at it. And some of the uh, the different layers in the rocks, the different colours and the lines and strata. I don't know if I'm using the right word there, correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, the formation is just uh, fascinating to look at. Incredible, isn't it? It's stunning, absolutely stunning. One hell of a long way down. So we are finally at our little turn off. This is still the GR131 we're on. But this little dinky path up here is going to take us up to the top of Rocky Palmero. Let's hit it. Well, that's been an entertaining path. Really quite steep. And like walking on marbles most of the way up, just slip sliding everywhere. But check this out. <laughs> Those are our views. So we have, you can possibly just see down in the distance, the black stripe down here is the new lava flow from the new volcano, which sits kind of up here somewhere, which hasn't even got a name yet. Uh, Pico Bacanado here. The Cumbre Vieja up there, and then the rest of this, which is the uh, the Caldera rim, oh, pretty really special. Incredible. The signs yeah. bit the dust. The signs falling down. <laughs> Two thousand three hundred and ten meters. And the trig points bit the dust. Let's amble our way up top. Wowzers! So yeah, a bit of cloud drifting in from the south. This little uh, area of habitation down here, I think, is towards Tazacorte. 
on the east side of the island. Uh, sorry, you're right, west. And then, yeah, the Caldera Rim, just stretching off over here, and Roque Machachos somewhere over there, I think. Absolutely stunning. Just mind blowing, innit? Whoa. And that is slightly irritating to see because the last time we were here we did Pico Bacanado and as I say we got completely whited out and today you would have got complete views from the top but still can't complain with what we've got. Oh. <laughs> Ta-da! Not bad at all. Time to leave those views behind and uh, begin heading back down. So we are back down on the 131 and retracing our steps towards Roque de los Muchachos. And there's a bit of cloud rolling in down in the caldera, right down in the bottom of it there. But still looking absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Yeah, it's really wispy, isn't it? Yeah. I've had to uh, get a hat on because the top of the head and the back of the neck were getting a bit burned. Yeah, the UV up here is really, really strong. Yeah, because so. of the altitude, it's fierce, the sun rays, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. It's actually a bit harder to get a breath as well. Yeah, I've you notice that. You do, uh, you do feel like uh, you're struggling for breath a little bit, the don't air you? Yeah, it is thinner, yeah. But uh, yeah, we're retracing our steps back up this way. Um, so it is the same path back as we took out. Uh, so I don't know how much filming we'll do, but if anything exciting pops its head out, we'll be sure to grab it. But meanwhile, enjoy that. So an interesting little color comparison for the rocks here. We've got this stuff. Now I know absolutely nothing about rocks, so anybody who does, please chime in in the comments. This looks kind of slaty, grey, bluey. And then you've got this stuff here, which is kind of reddy brown. They look like very different kinds of rocks to me, but interesting to see them. I mean, they're right next to each other as well. So if anybody can give me any more information on that, please do. Then you've got like the honeycomb kind of... Yeah, that over stuff there. over there in the distance, the kind of orangey stuff. Quite fascinating, isn't it? Well, here we are, back where we started. And the views are pretty much the same. The clouds rolled in a little bit down here and over on the far side, but largely the same. The camera just does not do it justice. It is just absolutely immense, isn't it? What an incredible walk. What a day. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, to spend the day at this sort of altitude and just, we've actually descended from um, that's the actual Muchachos rocks up there, which Top I think the that's the, the highest point on the island, about 8,200 feet. And we've actually descended down to about 7,004, I think. So yeah. it's not been a challenging walk, although it's felt like it because we've both been struggling for breath. I know yeah. it, that sounds crazy, but 
it's been the case, hasn't I think it? The air is definitely thinner. We've uh, we've really noticed that. Yeah, but, and the, the heat is the sun is intense yeah. as well. I mean, the wind has a bit of a chill when it's there, although it has been quite low today, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's said about 10 degrees temperature-wise, but it feels really hot. It does, yeah. It? I'm a, I've had my, uh, my head covered up for most of the afternoon because I could feel it burning the, the top of my head and the back of my neck. But yeah, absolutely incredible. Mm. We've been on our own. I, I cannot believe how quiet that path was. When we left kind of here before this morning, we've seen one person on this first stretch of path and the whole way over to... Uh, the summit over there and back we have not seen anyone else all day no. thoroughly recommend just can't believe that it if you do visit machachas and you want a different view yeah. of it everyone heads west. everyone heads east yeah um and to go west go west <laughs> oh, is, <God>. is, <laughs> sorry <laughs> so i do apologize uh, no it's well worth it it really is cannot believe how quiet it was and the scenery just off the scale yeah what a first day yeah so uh yeah it's uh, it kicked us well and truly into la palma mode hasn't it, it really did so uh, i think this is going to be us signing off from here we're meeting jose just up in the car park over there in about 20 minutes uh long drive back down to where we're staying and then uh a shower and something to eat and we're gonna deliberate on what to do tomorrow aren't we have a cerveza a couple of cervezas and yeah have a look at plan the, the uh, next adventure aye decisions decisions <laughs> <laughs> right well as usual thanks very much for watching very much appreciated yes thank you and we shall see you next time ta-ta for now Bye. see ya <laughs>